Carlindale ISD students have the opportunity to attend college right after middle school thanks to the district's newest campus. STEM Early College High School offers an education focused on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The school has a strong partnership with Palo Alto College that allows students to attend classes at the college campus and earn an associate's degree while still earning their high school diploma. The purpose of the program is so that our students actually finish with an associate's degree from Palo Alto College, graduate from Palo Alto College, and then about three weeks later they will graduate from high school. So it's a little on the reverse side. STEM early college high school students are on an accelerated schedule, which means that one semester is the equivalent to one year of high school. This allows the students to graduate with up to 60 hours of college credit. It's like winning the lottery because our students actually get to take classes at Palo Alto College. It's all paid for and their books are also paid for. Transportation to Palo Alto College is also paid for. So they're getting a free college education. And yes, it is hard work. Yes, it could be stressful. Yes, the demand is high and the expectation is high. But in the end, when we have tallied how much they would actually be saving, if you look at a student who's going to Palo Alto College, who lives at home, who has to drive, who has to eat, who needs room and board, who needs his books, who needs his tuition, in the two years of college that their students are earning for this associate's degree, it's a little over $15,000 that that student and their families are actually saving. STEM Early College High School junior Esmeralda Castillo hopes to transfer those college credit hours to Stanford University or MIT. She plans to major in electrical engineering and business to reach her ultimate goal of working for NASA. Before coming to the STEM Early College High School, I would have never thought I would have been interested in robotics or anything having to do with building. If you had asked me to like, oh, hold a screwdriver, I would have told you no, no way, that is not my thing. So coming to STEM Early College High School definitely surprised me because I found my love for engineering here. Students take their traditional English and history classes, but there's a strong emphasis on STEM courses and robotics. We are a mechanical engineering program. We focus on robotics. We have five different teams of uh, five different types of robotics that we focus on. One of them is FTC. We have FRC. We have MATE, which is an underwater robot. We have VEX, and then we have SA Best. And each team actually participates at different times of the year, just like sports. You have football in the in the fall. You have baseball in the spring, etc. Well, we do the same thing. And we've been very, very fortunate that our, through the work of our teachers, the work of the students, the support of the parents, our students have actually been able to participate in robotics competitions that have taken them to Houston, have taken them to Corpus Christi, have taken them all the way up to even St. Louis, Missouri, to compete not only in national competitions, but in world competitions. Robotics isn't all about STEM. It also helps students develop their communication and writing skills. Here at San Marley College High School, just as important as building robots, you need good communication skills. If you're on a robotics team, you need to be able to communicate with your peers, so that way everyone knows what's going on and no one gets lost. So here at San Marley College High School, we build on those, and we build on presentation, communication, your writing skills, because you do have to come up with technical reports when you do something like the, uh, when you're building those notebooks for robotics, because they will grade you on that. For robotics coach Miss Sullivan, the greatest reward is seeing her students evolve. The success is great, but really seeing the kids put in the effort and the commitment and learning how to work together and they changed so much from, their, from when they first got here, um, that's what I am the most proud of, is just seeing how they grow professionally and as, as uh, young adults. Because that's really what robotics is about, is learning how to work with each other and to be professional and to deal with pressure. When graduation time rolls around, STEM students will be well-rounded individuals that are ready to take on the world. So STEM Early College High School is like the gateway to my future, essentially. It opens up so many new possibilities to where, I end, where I'm going to be later on in the future after I am graduated from a senior in high school and it will probably put me into a position where I can feel comfortable with where I'm going and I'm not going to have to be the kind of person to, you know, who's going to struggle with a minimum wage job or, you know, who just kind of is lost as where, where they're going and I hope to, you know, go through college with the degree I want to pursue and just finish it right then and there. Texas A&M San Antonio offers automatic admission to STEM students and Dr. Rodriguez is confident that the program will be beneficial to students far beyond college. 
it was important that we looked at a program that was actually going to offer our students not just a high school diploma and a college degree, but a high school diploma and a college degree that was actually going to get them those jobs that are in such a great need in the city of San Antonio. We currently have the Toyota plant, which is right here in our backyard, but we also have, for example, USAA, who's looking for people who are good in mathematics, but we also have the medical center who's looking for people who actually study biology and chemistry and things of that nature. Um, and robotics, Boeing, who is here in San Antonio as well at Port San Antonio, is looking for engineers uh, all the time. So therefore, by having this program here, it's actually helping our city and it's helping our students finish school, but actually being able to attain those jobs that are in such a high demand. So I think we're in the right track with our kids in our program.